shit, Redhead. Everybody in gym classes call me Eleanor Bozo, but Tina had already moved on to Redhead and Blue, Bloody Mary. Because it looks like your whole head is on the rack. She explained me this today in the locker room. I hate the girl. She's a weirdo. A miniature demon. And she she has a whole gang of lesser demons. All dressing in matching gym suits. For me, gym classes are an extension of hell. I hate my legs even more than the rest of my body. Thankfully that here at North we have to wear gym suits. Polyester on this. The bottom is red and the top is red and white strip. And it all zipped up the front. But but you know, red is in my color. That's what the other girls said to me. So as you can see, today wasn't a good day as known is. I'm sick of all this. Of them keeping calling me names. So hard to breathe, I gave up everything in my slow fall down to the floor. Life was escaping. Today I saw again the stupid Asian kid. It's so awkward sitting next to him and never talk to him. At least he never looks at me. At least I think he didn't. I never look at him. I just look at sometimes to his shows or at what he's reading. <laughs> Comic books. He's probably going to break up with me tomorrow. But God, his dad is just like Tom Selleck. When I went to his house, I saw a family portrait sitting on their TV cabinet. His mom looked exactly like a doll, like in the book of The Wizard of Oz. She made me feel like a giant, because I'm so much bigger than her. You know, if you were an alien who came to her to study its life forms, you wouldn't even think this, the two of us are the same species. But really, I'm serious. Like, I wonder where Park's mom or Tina or even the girls in the neighborhood put their organs. Like, how can you have a stomach and intestines and kidneys and still wear such teeny jeans? I just don't stop thinking about him. I'm sure he, he will break up with me. But not even because I'm huge, but because I'm a huge mess. I can't even be around regular people without freaking out. And that's exactly happened today. It was too much for me. Meeting is pretty, perfect mom. Seeing is normal, perfect house. I didn't know there were families like that and houses like this one. In these crappy neighborhood houses with hole to wall carting and little baskets of potpourri everywhere. At first I thought it all, I was so mean, I'm still unsure how it's supposed to be, but taken every day now by the skin of my teeth until I learn. I'm holding on to all the pieces of my heart to be. My life is the opposite of his. I have a broken family and a broken down house. And, and so, Park's family didn't fit. I will never belong anywhere. Well, except for when I'm lying on my bed, pretending to be somewhere else. So, the big problem of today was feeling I shouldn't be in his, his house, his living room. I started hyperventilating there and I didn't feel like he wanted me there. And so, I think he is mates with me. We talked about it yesterday. I told him all I was feeling that day, that I felt I shouldn't be there. I wanted to be all wrong. I wanted him to tell me that he did want me at his house, that he wants 
expect me to come back and try again. At the end, he looked at me, beating his bottom lip, and I knew I was at least a little bit right. But I couldn't hear him because Steve was there with the other kids, standing at the back of the ass, waving his gorilla arms like a conductor. Go Big Red! Go Big Red! Go Big Red! I looked around and I noticed everyone was saying it. Everyone was looking at, at me. They meant it for me and part knew it too. My fingertips went cold. Go Big Red! Park closed his eyes and shook his head. His fists were clenched tight. I didn't recognize him. The bus was parking in front of school and I couldn't wait to get up. I forced myself to stay in my seat until it stopped and to calmly walk forward. Park was right behind me, but he stopped as soon as he was off the bus. He drew his backpack on the ground uh, and took off his coat. He said he would hand it. I didn't want that. I, I want him to be quiet and to ignore, ignore them. I said it wasn't worth it. He answered me, you're worth it. And I'm trying off them embarrassing. I said that to him and he looked back at me. When I saw his eyes, I knew I was right. Show it, show it off. When I turned to look, Park was already shoving him back toward the bus. They looked like David and Goliath, if David had gotten close and know to, to let Goliath kick his ass. Leave my girlfriend alone. Sorry dude, I didn't know it. Well, this fight ended with a waterfall of blood on Steve's chin and Park's face covered in blood too. He stared forward and the assistant principal called him. Leave my girlfriend alone. Steve Strutis. I didn't know she was really your girlfriend. It shouldn't matter and that's what Park said to him. Now, am I supposed to be happy because he called me his girlfriend?